So I will teach you about uh, the fraction first, fraction and the multiplication, how we can do uh, the multiplication and the fraction. The second thing is uh, we, we have to do the, with the decimals. And the third one is the sequence and patterns. Okay? Okay. I will just explain to you. Don't worry about that. Okay? Yeah. So I will take a just simple example to explain to you. And I will give you the question and you have to do, right? In the two minutes. My voice is clear to you, Anika? My voice is clear? My voice is clear to you? Yeah. Anika? Okay. Just confirm to me. Okay. Yeah, fast. Okay. Okay, so I will take a just example, okay? We learned about the earlier that, okay, what, you, uh, the, what is the uh, meaning of the fraction, right? Okay, just I just give you one simple example, okay? So that you can able to understand how it works. Okay, I am, I am taking two by three, okay? Just a number, right? Okay, just a fraction. So what is a two? It's called the numerator. Numerator. And then the bottom yeah. one is a yeah. denominator. It's a denominator, very good, okay? This is the numerator, this is the denominator, okay? The upper one is called the numerator, the downward is d denominator. Denominator. Now, okay, now we have to, uh, okay, on that, uh, the previous days, okay, I just have to, uh, asked you the, to do the multiplication in the fraction. How can we do, okay? Just see, suppose I'm just, just writing the same, exactly the same thing, right? Two by three, okay? I just have to multiply. Okay, and just I mentioned like uh, you can say four by uh, six, something like that. Okay. 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 We don't need require to cut now. Okay, just see this one. What we'll do? What I will do? I will multiply two by four. Okay. The the numerator into numerator. Okay. Here, and uh, the another side I will what denominator into denominator. So I will convert into the this one, this one I make a big line and the both numerator I will just write here and put a multiplication because the multiplication is between the fraction, right? And the second one is what? Three multiply by six. six. Okay, so what will the answer? Two into four? Two into four, uh, eight. Three two into six. four? Yeah, two into four. Oh, two into four. And then three times six equals 18. 18, very good. Okay, so that is the answer. Understood? Now, suppose, eight, okay, now, okay, now suppose I'm giving, yeah? Any question? Any come? No. Okay, now I'm giving you the, uh, the another question, right? Okay, just see. I'm writing two by three, okay? Now I'm writing four by six into uh, seven by, okay, four, something like that, okay? So it's okay, okay. Either it will take two or three. If there's a multiplication in between them, right? In between the fractions, we just put a this line, okay? At the first step, then what will I will take? The numerator on the upper side, two into four into seven. Understood? And the second one, okay. what will take the denominator, this one. Three into six into four, okay? Yeah, can you multiply this one? Seven into four, 28. 28 into two, 56. 28 into two? 56, okay? Okay. Okay. Six into four, twenty-four. Twenty-four into three, seventy-two. How I know? <laughs> okay. So, I so that is the answer. Okay. So what do you have okay. first? Okay. Can you explain to me, Anika? Please explain to me. Uh, first of all, you have to multiply the numerator. Very good. And the numerator and the denominator and denominator. Okay. We have to group those. Okay. We have to just group. Okay. Group the all the numerator one together. And the geometry on the downward side. Okay. Clear to you? Yeah. Oh, great. So, okay, just write it down and I will give you some other question, please. 